Good morning, boys and girls, mommies and daddies. Welcome to Costume Day on RME's Music Lab. We are in the middle of our eighth full week, and we are happy to be tuned in with all of you this morning. Hope you had a wonderful day yesterday. Yesterday's Music Lab was a blast, and we've got a treat for you today, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a very fun, fun record to show you guys. We've got a song I'm never, I've never played before, ever. I just learned it five minutes ago, so we'll see how that cookie crumbles. And obviously, dress up day to day. I am dressed up as a pig. All of a sudden, Elvis pig. This is all Mrs. Kate's idea. And uh, I gotta say, I'm thrilled. Yeah, it's fun to be dressed up for you, right? We're, we've got a very serious show for you guys. And I wanna just make sure that I get that point across right now. Uh, let's get Miss Kate involved here. Let's see what she's dressed up as today. Miss Kate, why don't we get you in here? <laughs> <laughs> well, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I don't know where to begin. Uh, let's see. Um, let's just... Jump right into playing songs. As always, I want to know who's tuned into the show today. If you're new to the program, welcome. <laughs> uh, this is normal. This is what we do on Wednesdays. Last Wednesday, we were dressed up as uh, University of Arizona Wildcat basketball players, right? From 1996. Today, we are from Old Dale's Farm, McDale's Farm, and uh, here we are. <laughs> Maybe we'll have some time to run through some old McDonald just because when in Rome, here you go, there's lots of farms in Rome. But we have some blues lyrics sent in from Mr. Ben today. So, yes, if you're new to the program, send in your name, your age, and where you're from so we can put a pin in our United States of America map. We've got pins in all over the country. Super exciting when you guys tune in. I very much appreciate it. Let's uh, let's start out with uh, some blues lyrics here, huh? <laughs> Move backwards. All right. <laughs> Is too scary because it scares me a little bit here. Yeah, uh, maybe. I just okay. Ha. All right, let's try that for a second. Okay. No, no. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> sending those in. There's a lesson in those blues lyrics. If you're ever interested in playing guitar, one of the first things you should learn is what the names of the strings are. 
We call them, if you just pluck a string without using your hands on one of the frets on the neck, it's called open. So this top string here is E, as Mr. Ben referred to. The one right below that, your second thickest string, E up here is your thickest string. Right below it is your A string. Yeah, there we go. And right below your A string, your third thickest string is D. So that's always good to know. That way you know how to tune your guitar. So when you do eventually figure out how to use your fingers to finger some chords on your fretboard, now you're off and running, right? We could do a guitar lesson someday if you guys are interested just in the basics of what a guitar is and how it works. That is the best way to jump into learning how to play. Music theory and all that stuff comes later. If you just know the basic layout on a guitar, all of a sudden it's a video game and it's very easy to be able to play chords on guitar. You just need to know the basic structure of what a guitar is and then you're off and running. So Mr. Ben, thank you for sending those in today. That was a good lesson. So E, A, and D. Just for reference, if you keep going, you've got G, B, and E again. An octave. An octave is the same note, just a higher or lower pitch of that same note. All right, listen to this low E. Uh, and listen to the high E. Uh, it's the same note, just higher than the low one. So, there you go. And a good way to remember what your guitar strings are named is Eddie, Eight, Dynamite, Good, by Eddie. <laughs> there you go. That was the best thing we could come up with with kids learning what the names of the guitar strings are. Eddie, Eight, Dynamite, Good, by Eddie. There you go. Poor Eddie. Moral of that story, don't eat dynamite. Don't be like Eddie. Okay, well, we've got these, these Elvis glasses here for a reason. So, let's do it. We're back on. I want to thank you guys for tuning in to Army's Music Lab today. You know what I'm saying? Oink, oink. All right. You ain't nothing but a pig hog. Sowing all the time. You ain't nothing but a pig hog. Sowing. Yeah, you ain't rolling around in mud, you ain't no friend of mine. They said you ate grass, well that was just a lie.
Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, that's Pig Hog by Elvis Pigsley. All right, here we go. Who is tuned in today? Let's do that. Let's give our shout outs. We've got Aunt Sue and my mom, Sharon, from Bluegrass. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Are you proud? <laughs> We've got Key tuned in from Rock Island. Good morning, Key. I hope you're having a great week. We've got Kathy Coolman tuned in today. Kathy, how are you? And WVIK, my buddy from, uh, yeah, uh, 90.3. We have Army Radio Hour every week from 8 to 9 o'clock on WVIK. And I think Dave is happy that we are on radio and not TV together right now. All right. We've got Rusty Zuber, massive supporter and friend of the River Music Experience and the Dales. Thank you so much, Rusty. It's good to see you. We've got the Shannons. We've got Jamie Aiken, Keith Landsteiner, Nancy Dale. How are you tuned in today? It's good to see you. This is what we're doing in the mornings. And Melody Bush tuned in today. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much. And it looks like Bambi Sweets just tuned in. Good morning, everybody. All right. Well, let's jump right into record time here. This is pretty exciting. So let's see. This album is, we talk about the Beatles a lot. And in America, before the Beatles got really popular, one of the number one kind of pop rock and roll bands was the Beach Boys. And when the Beach Boys came out with their album Pet Sounds, it really pushed the limits of where music could go. Uh, it never been done before. It pushed the Beatles. Uh, it just created um, just imaginative thinking of where you could take the idea of where music was at the time. And it was massive. So I wanna show you guys what the album looks like. This is the Beach Boys Pet Sounds. We're gonna put this in the comment section because you should definitely listen to the Beach Boys today. And we are gonna put up the songs, Wouldn't It Be Nice? And then for a bonus track, Kokomo, just because I love that song. And I think we all should listen to Kokomo and act like we're all hanging out on a beach together anywhere in the Caribbean. Uh, from the Florida Keys down to Port-au-Prince. So. Here's what the album cover looks like. Then they have a bunch of pictures of the Beach Boys in the back here. So there you go. So the Beach Boys, Brian Wilson, Mike Lowe, Al Hardeen, and Brian Johnson. <clears throat> we got Carl Wilson, Dennis Wilson. You've got David Marks, Ricky Fowler, <clears throat> excuse me. And you've got Blondie Chaplin all made up the band. <clears throat> they have some unbelievable session players that played with them. Just incredible, incredible musicians. Uh, you know, recorded you know, with orchestras with this album. That's why it was such a big deal. American rock and roll band, they were from California, right? All songs, California beach life related. Um, their influences, they had tons of vocal harmonies. Uh, they were based around surf sound, you know, they're... They called them, you know, the California sound was the Beach Boys. Uh, we had jazz based vocal group from the 1950s that turned into rock and roll and you know, a lot of R&B was mixed into these guys. Uh, Brian Wilson is a composer, arranger, producer of Pet Sounds in 1966. The single Good Vibrations raised their stature and prestige to rock and roll innovators. Brian Wilson is like the Paul McCartney or John Lennon of the Beatles, you know, whoever you're keen to of the Beatles, just Brian Wilson is a genius. Um, he's unbelievable imaginer and creator of music. Uh, they were one of the earliest self-contained rock and roll bands from the United States um, before the British invasion, which we talked about. From the 1960s, between the 1960s and 2010, they had over 80 songs charted worldwide. Over 80 songs. Like, just incredible. They had 36 singles on the top 140, the most by any rock band. Uh, they've sold over 100 million albums. They still tour today, believe it or not. Do they have to? No, but they... I read an article about them not too long ago, and they just love it. The last time they played in the Quad Cities, they actually pulled up a bunch of kids from the stage from the QC Rock Academy. 
and they were jamming along with them. Just really, really great people. I've heard unbelievable stories about them uh, backstage. Their influences spanned over decades, including this whole psychedelic area, the power pop, progressive rock, punk, alternative, um, all of that. They loved all types of music. That's what made them genius. They were relevant in so many decades when so many artists only have a short time span because maybe they're not willing to evolve into what people think is cool. Um, yeah, there you go. That's kind of, you know, they're in every Hall of Fame, you name it. The Beach Boys, Pet Sounds. Fun fact, Kate's folks' first dance at their wedding was, wouldn't it be nice? Right? Oh yeah. God. There we go. All right. So there's the Beach Boys for you. I'm going to try and attempt to play a Beach Boys song for you here. Just because it's fun. So, all right. Um, let me see some like buttons if anybody's ever been to the Caribbean before. We got any hearts, any thumbs up? I know we all wish we were there right now, that's for sure. All right, nobody. Well then, you're in for a treat because let's all close our eyes and act like we're there now. All right. Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I wanna take ya. Bermuda, Bahama, come on pretty mama. Key Largo, Montego, ooh, why don't we go? Jamaica off the Florida Keys.
that's the closest I could take you to the beach for now. Woo. Maybe we all could be at Buffalo Beach someday and we can run this program. There you go. That sounds great. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kate. Yeah. Moo, moo, nice. Moo. moo, moo, moo. Well, let's see. We've got a few minutes left. And because we're dressed up for costume day, right, we got Mr. Piggy over here. With uh, yeah, we got Kate dressed up as Moo Cow. Let's do a let's do a little bit of Old McDonald's had a farm here. So all right, what is it? We haven't done this in a few weeks, so this will be fun. We figured why not? We got our pet sounds going on. All right, so we're all driving in that school bus down that same old windy dirt road, and every kid in that bus is excited. Even the adults say, "Hey, take a ride." When you see that sign that says welcome to old mcdonald's farm so we take a ride on old mcdonald's farm and he's sitting there waiting for us excited for all of us to get off that bus so we can see all the animals on his farm and the first animal that we have on the farm is animal from the muppets <laughs> nice suggestion all right ladies and gentlemen what does animal say drums too sure. And what does a piggy say? Oink, 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 oink. is 
is on this farm and that's right there's horses all over the place they're neighing left and right eating their hay running out in the sunshine today down by the bay and may we go hang out with those horses and those horses say nay dress up day on music lab we hope you enjoyed today's episode that's right we played kokomo by the beach boys we showed off pet sounds by the beach boys definitely go into that comment section after we log off and hit that link because the beach boys will bring you sunshine and sand between your toes on today we got sunshine for a while before the rain so thank you guys for tuning in I'm excited for tomorrow's episode. We got two episodes left this week. So thank you for tuning in. If you appreciate the River Music Experience, you can always go to River Music Experience slash donate. More importantly, we just need you here Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. We've got a fun-filled curbside concert day with Jason Carl today. We're starting early. We're starting at noon today, and we're going until about 7 or 8 o'clock. So it's going to be a wild day. I'm very excited. And, uh, yeah, always remember that you're important and perfect for just being you. Thanks for watching. If you want to help support River Music Experience and other programs like Music Lab, visit rivermusicexperience.org slash donate.